Hey guys, I'm Sir Shad. So this, this is my Realme X with all new Realme UI 2.0 and Android 11 update installed in it. So let's review it. So this is Realme X which got an beta update of Realme UI 2.0 and Android 11 and I am testing it for about a week now. So let me tell you all the changes that came with this update, what gone better and what gone worse. So let's start with the home screen, which got some new customization options with some new static wallpapers. No new live wallpapers this time. But now we can use third party icons for our home screen. We haven't got any new widgets, but a whole UI got much smoother. Second biggest change is notification drawer, which got more rounded and blur background design which I personally like a lot, but it is automatically grouping some notifications, which is a bit confusing to handle. In the settings tab, we got a new option of personalization, which let you customize each and everything of your phone, from fonts to color scheme of UI. So first of all, we have an option of themes, which open theme store, which got a lot more free themes to use. Secondly, we have an option of wallpaper. It got a new feature which creates a customized wallpaper based on the color scheme of the picture you want to use. These wallpapers look very cool. It also got some new clock styles on always on display. Icon styles are already discussed earlier. Then we have color option. Changing the color scheme of your UI will give you a nice personalized touch. And finally we have a notification drawer option which let you change the shape of notification drawer icon if you want. I am really enjoying these customization options. So now it is the time for some small changes. First thing I personally liked is now we got an option to change the intensity of dark mode. It has three different modes. But I personally like enhanced mode. You can use whatever you want. The second thing is sleep capsule. Which comes under the realme lab section. But I haven't used it yet. This is for restricting your phone usage on the rest time. Third thing I noticed is very small. Realme has changed the sound effect of taking a screenshot. I personally liked a lot. I will say you to hear it once. It is really good. We got some changes in sidebar animation and floating window. Like we can now drag the application running in the floating window to whatever corner of the screen we want to. I was really waiting for this feature since a long time. We also got some improvements in game space. As now we can switch between different gaming modes as per our requirement. We also got some new animations while locking your home screen or going to sleep mode. And at last, it has a bug. Or you can see an unnoticed mistake. When we connect to a book charger that came into the box with the phone, it shows dark charging. So I hope Realme will fix it in the final release. If anyone from Realme team is watching it, so please fix it. So guys, that's all for this video. Please hit the like button if you did enjoy it. And comment down below if you want video on any topic. And if you want logo or YouTube thumbnail, you can DM me on Instagram. I will give you at lowest cost. And subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. I will catch you in the next one. Till then, goodbye, take care.